going a little further on that note of showing up with authenticity and really being able to build a rapport on video, some some companies, you know, really just think that it's impossible to build trust in the same way you can build in person on video. Like, what is your response to that? Well, it is if we don't do some things differently, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> and certainly that's uh, research has held early on that it's harder to build relationships virtually. And and the one of the reasons why is because there are certain qualities that need to be in place for someone to want to enter into a trusted relationship with you, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Uh, whether it's personal or business, you have to be credible. You have to have some level of confidence. You have to appear authentic and empathetic and interested. And those happen to be the most difficult qualities to convey on video. Mm. Uh, just because of how the camera distorts certain things or the fact that we don't adapt to this this space that we're given. Mm -hmm. We have 80%, 85% of our body language is gone. All that all that additional context that used to add to our presence and our, our communication is gone. And most people have no idea what their 20% says. And very often it says something very different than they intend. And so until we get a hold of that and uh, understand how our audience perceives us on their screen, we often do things that damage our credibility. Right, it's like communication misfires are happening Right. I mean, if you think yeah. about it, I mean, the, the one of the one of the biggest things you can do to build trust with someone, and this was a question that was posed to uh, a thousand executives, that the big, biggest thing you can do is to be is to actively listen. Mm -hmm. Well, if you think about what does listening behavior look like on video, mm -hmm. it looks like this. There's no eye contact. There's no. There's no nonverbal cues that you heard what I said. Um, and people will say, well, they know I'm looking at their picture. And that's a logical response to something that is very emotional. Trust is not necessarily just based entirely on logic or relationships aren't either. Right. So we hit ourselves by saying, well, that doesn't really matter. It does matter. Those, those little things, not so little things add up to, do I feel like I could trust this person? And so we have to pay attention to that, understand what we're, what we're doing that might be keeping us from building this trusted relationship and shooting ourselves in the foot because we can do all those other things. Um, you know, we can be a good listener, but if, you know, it's like if a tree falls in the forest and you don't hear it, did it, you know, <laughs> did, it, did it fall? Yeah. So we have to make sure that what we think we're communicating is being received and people have, very little understanding of how their their customer or their audience experiences them on their screen.